Hello, beautiful internet family. Danny from danstube.tv. And if you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. I've made it my mission here to help people unlock their creative potential with tech. So this is my unboxing video, and today we're checking out the FPV combo. Let's get to it. It's that shrink wrap. Ooh, that moment. Like, if we could harness that moment, the amount of dopamine that's just getting released when you crack open shrink wrap, it's like, they need to harness that in a laboratory somewhere. This is a, a whole nother feeling. We got it, finally. All right, so here we go. The FPV combo. Oh, wow. Look at this. So we've got the headset there, which just makes me feel like some sort of hero. Like this is the kind of superhero mask that someone would wear. Like, it's crazy. Love this design. I truly can't appreciate the evolution of this. Like I know how far FPV has come, but I haven't flown FPV as a hobby. So, you know, this is such a privileged position for me to have an FPV drone in my hands. I feel like I'm Ant-Man or I'm some sort of superhero with this. Like how crazy is this? <laughs> That's amazing. You've got the four antennas here that you screw in and you get that high quality transmission to your headset. This is like evolutionary stuff, especially in the FPV community. This is something they've wanted for a very long time. And this is version two of the goggles here. And I feel like with the four antennas in, you just look like a Wi-Fi router. Like it's basically just the Wi-Fi hero. That's kind of what I would feel like. Maybe the hero's name could be Hotspot Hot Shooter, Hotspot Hoagie, Hotspot Davis, Hotspot Dan, Hotspot Dan's Tube. <laughs> I have no idea. And then the next piece is this beautiful FPV drone. It's a lot heavier than I thought. It feels like it's built to last. This thing is beautiful. I love this. You've got the casing here to protect some of the internals in here. It looks like some sort of CPU on top there. And then a really nice build quality. It feels really, really sturdy. I feel like the battery is going to be the heaviest piece. How do you release these batteries? Oh yeah, here, right? Oh, there we go. Damn, that's a heavy battery. Without the battery, this thing still feels beautiful. Like. Oh, the engineering that's gone into this is just ridiculous. It's such a beautiful drone. And the gimbal cover is hopefully something I'm gonna be used to. Oh yeah, take off that sticker. And then I believe all goes well. Oh, that click was not nice. There's the camera there. Beautiful little system. It looks relatively stable in there. And overall, it's just such a crazy design. Like I love this down here as well. Like it's almost like air cooled. Great. So really that's pretty crazy when you look at this. This is what I was waiting for DJI to do. I knew that they were gonna enter the FPV space in a big way. And after the release of their initial goggles into the market and the success of those, it was inevitable that they were gonna go down the full FPV route. And look at this, this is such a unique designed FPV. I cannot wait to fly this. The FPV drone has a lot of sensors on it. That's something I actually wasn't really expecting. I haven't fully looked into this, but there's sensors everywhere. And you've got that beautiful camera there on the front. And it's quite a sophisticated looking drone really. Like when you look at this, this is very unique. And the battery is so chunky, it's a brick. But this is something that they had to address. You know, battery life on FPV drones is just terrible. And the FPV drone from DJI is actually addressing a few of those concerns. So you get like high quality video transmission to the headset. And then on top of that, you have really good battery life. Biggest kind of bottlenecks in the FPV community and DJI are really taking it head on. I love this battery design, just slots in. Oof, and then you have to plug it in down the bottom as well to make that physical connection. Really unique design. And this is the controller here. I'm actually really surprised with the build quality of this controller. In all of the photos, it didn't look like the sturdiest controller in the world. But again, DJI have surprised me and this thing feels amazing. It's almost like a combination between a PlayStation controller with the chunkiness, the girthiness of an Xbox controller. So it's kind of the best of both worlds here. That's really cool. And the thumbsticks are like tucked in down the sides here, which is again, a really unique design. I love this DJI. And then you flip this up. Oh, and that feels nice as well, that flip. Mm. 
and then that's it. You're ready to go. You screw everything in and boom, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, even, even the buttons just feel really satisfying. Oh, these switches as well. Oh, that is like, whew, a little too satisfying, guys. Damn, that's really nice. And yeah, DJI just oh, exceed my expectations every single time. Like I said, I was honestly not expecting this controller to feel this nice. And those switches, I know that the FPV uh, remotes, the controllers that they use, they have these satisfying toggles, these switches, and this feels really nice on top here. I love this. And then you just have a bunch of accessories, just tons of accessories. You've got all the charging accessories, you've got the propellers, you've got, you know, the antennas, you've got the headband, you've got the top shell, you've got a manual. Wow, that's exciting, a manual in here. So basically it's just everything you need in the one box. This is the Fly More combo or the combo as they've called it here, the DJI FPV combo. So there are additional things that you can look through as well. And you probably need a few of those, especially the propellers to make this thing fly. But these are the three main components here. The FPV drone that just feels unbelievable. Like again, the engineering that has gone into this is really mind blowing. Like you can, you know, diss the FPV drone as much as you want. I know the FPV community are saying that there's a lot of problems to it. Like, you know, their drones are very modular and if something breaks, they just buy a cheap part and swap it out. Where DJI is gonna have a lot more of an expensive repair process. And I feel like that's gonna be the biggest problem for DJI here. But the FPV drone itself, like when you actually get your hands on this, it feels amazing. The build quality is remarkable. And I just love everything they've done here. It really just feels like a luxury sports car again. And this is something I said with the original Mavic Air. I love that elegance and the design that they, they went out of their way to make it look unique and feel unique. And no one had seen anything like this. And I feel this is kind of a similar place here. No one's seen anything like this in the FPV community. This is very unique. And then the headset, like I said, you know, this is an innovation in itself and this is version two of it. So you've got, you know, the record button on top, you've got a little toggle, you've got a few other buttons, you've got the antenna slots and it feels like it's gonna be very nice. That memory foam also feels satisfying as well. And then straight when you put it on, put the headset on, you've got the antennas, and boom, you are a Wi-Fi router, ready to hotspot for really anyone in the community, which is I guess what DJI are trying to do here. They're trying to get that internet connection for the world. This is the aggressive green that you can put on top of your drone here. It really does stand out, and obviously they're gonna sell some other colors to make it quite a unique offering. Woo, you can get maybe different skins, you can get patterns, you can get your logo. That would be really cool, and I'm sure eBay will get on top of that. There'll be sellers everywhere uh, really trying to capitalize on that. That would be really cool. But I really love the see-through shell on top. It's a nicer plastic as well. It feels a lot harder and more sturdy, and the fact you can see those internals in there is really, really cool. And then, like I was saying before, these are the antennas that kind of poke out of the headset. You literally just screw them in. They're nice and easy to connect. And it gives you that amazing connection point, which has been the issue with FPV for such a long time. And to be able to have that, you know, seamless transmission where you're getting clear video that's not, you know, cutting out and it's not in that analog format, this is next level. And honestly, like I was saying before, how can you not feel like a Wi-Fi router here? It's literally like you've got little dongles connecting to the internet. Like honestly, you're just hotspotting for people. That's the whole idea of this, obviously. DJI are trying to innovate by creating worldwide FPV Wi-Fi. That's the goal here. But all jokes aside, this is honestly such a sleek and unique design. You could not help but feel like a superhero when you have this thing on. It's so badass. I really do love this, such a unique design, such a unique style. And then like I was saying, this controller just feels phenomenal. I was not expecting this to feel so sturdy and have such a solid click to it as you change through the modes. So I'm really excited to take this out and fly it. I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. What would you like to see from the FPV drone? I know that I'm gonna focus in on whether this can actually be a good cinematic and commercial drone for you or whether you just stick to the bog standard DJI drones that are already out, like all the Mavic Mini, Mavic Pro and Mavic Air. Are they good enough for a cinematic experience or can you get some unique sporty shots here? We'll see. Let's see what we can get with this. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll chat to you very soon. I've got lots of content coming out on the channel. Talk to you soon and peace out.